Hey guys, it's Vostop, and today we're going to be looking at two different GPUs. first one we have is an integrated 530 graphics and an i7. The second one is an old AMD graphics card. So, the setup we're going to be trying is right behind me, and we have an i7-6700K with 4GHz and 16GB of DDR4 RAM at 2133 MHz. A 750 watt power supply and an ASUS Z170A motherboard. So, links will be in the description, and let's try it out. Okay, so the games we're trying today will be Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. And we're starting off with Battlefield 4 with the Intel Integrated 530 graphics. The settings will be set to 720p at 60Hz at low settings with 100% resolution scale, and the motion blur at 0%. I don't have the FPS counter on right now, but the FPS stays in the mid-50s to the mid-60s during most situations, but it didn't drop below 50 FPS. So now we're going to be trying out Battlefield Hardline on the Intel Integrated 530 graphics. So it performed fine in most cases, but it ranged from the low 40s to the mid 60s. These are pretty good frame rates for an integrated graphics, but this isn't meant to replace a graphics card. It's okay to temporarily game, but don't expect a lot of eye candy. Most average monitors can't even display more than 60 frames per second or 60 hertz, so you're in turn maxing out your frame rate most of the time on your monitor. But you're going to have to sacrifice quality for more FPS if you're willing to do that. So now comes up the AMD Radeon 5450. We're starting off with Battlefield 4 again. The FPS counter is now on the top right, and it's getting less than 20 FPS. So what I tried to do is switch it to Mantle instead of Direct 3D11, and that didn't work. It just made it worse. So I put it back and had to turn the resolution down to 720p, and the resolution scaled at 85%. Since it was still laggy and less than 25 FPS, I then turned it down even more to 55%. This made me gain about 15 FPS. So I was getting in the high 30s to the low 40s. Now moving on to Battlefield Hardline, the resolution is set to 1024 by 768 at 60Hz, and the resolution scale is set the same as Battlefield 4, which is 55%. The quality looks a lot worse in person, but the FPS drops as low as the mid-30s all the way up to high 60s at some points. So the conclusion here is that a $30 GPU doesn't compare to an integrated graphics in an i7, but then again, who would use integrated graphics with a $300 CPU? The only reason I can think of is if you're waiting for an amazing graphics card to come in. If you're on a budget, or if you just want to get a good but cheap card, go with a $300 or less GPU, and you won't have any bottlenecks at that point. So that's the end of this video, and if you liked the video, please like or subscribe, and see you in the next one.